What is the definition of art and culture tourism? Before we talk about the definition, we have to define what art is. And art is an expression or application of human creativity skills and imagination, typically in a visual form, like painting, sculpture, producing other works, primarily for the beauty and or the emotional power. Culture relates to the ideas, the customs and the social behavior of a society. If we bring those two together and put it into cultural tourism, the definition could be the movement of persons to travel and cultural attractions away from their normal place of residence, with the intention to gather new information and experiences, such as heritage background, artistic know-how, arts and drama active and passive participation, and all that in order to satisfy their cultural needs. So cultural tourist sites can be either physical or man-made, as long as the site holds some time of meaning to a culture that can be a theater, an opera house, or a historical outside area. Many tourists believe that the heart of cultural tourism is viewing the past in order to learn the future and to learn from the culture by looking at museums, art galleries and other places of interest. So the emphasis should be on educational, experiential and communicative experiences and making sure it is authentic, it is transparent and even very important, it is a very honest experience. The question remains what counts as culture and what doesn't? Is a museum in Paris culture? Is classical Thai boxing in Bangkok culture? Is soccer culture? Is visiting an opera culture? These are to be defined by each person on their own. But it offers the opportunity to sample all these forms and to occur in places like concert halls, theme parks, heritage sites, museums, streets of a destination even can make a major impact. So culture and heritage tourism. Focus on the history, focus on lifestyles in the past and increase the experiences, the visual and performing arts and learn how to attend festivals, music, village, rural life, gastronomy, village buildings and religious monuments and all these places that are so important in our life. We have cultural tourism that focus on visual arts, performing arts and humanities, mainly on people. We have heritage tourism that focus on the sites, the historical sites, the architecture, mainly on places and events. We can appreciate culture in different ways. And in cultural tourism, we talk about high culture and popular culture. High culture tends to have a little bit of an elitist stereotype attached to its attractions, opera, theaters, museums, etc. And special knowledge of art and architecture is quite often needed. Popular culture, in contrary, does not need any special knowledge and focuses on music festivals, theme parks, fun dances and other activities related to the culture of wherever this takes place. So culture is a main attraction and without culture a tourist site would be a boring place. And without cultural heritage places across the world would have little to offer to attract tourism sites. And that's why we need this. We have to address the physical spaces, the art markets, the performing arts, the museums, the heritage, the places where we can find art and craft in very cultural districts, looking at museum districts where all the museums, hotels, shops are all working together to create that experience. And in big city quite often there are places where artists live and work and support each other and you can be visited and learn again that specific interest there. There are many benefits to tourism, economic visibility, 
levering of human capital we can use the people that are involved in these cultural activities we can restore or revitalize the geographical area we can expand business and tax revenues accordingly we can create more innovative habitat that attracts more people that have more interest and we can create a sense of pride and belonging for the residents.